Carla and I'm doing this video about the five reasons why you should do coding or skills challenges as it pertains to IT. So full disclosure, I completed two Microsoft Ignite 2020 Cloud Skill Challenges, and I wanted to pass on my knowledge to you about doing them and why they will be important if you do decide to do cloud computing or any type of information technology career. So uh, number one is gaining expertise. When you're coding, you're gaining expertise, you're learning more about the the language it doesn't matter if it's microsoft azure in my case it can be anything it can be java red hat sas which is statistical analysis software anything you're just gaining the expertise and you're learning as you're going which is very very important it's active not passive learning uh the second reason is to build your portfolio so uh, building your portfolio is very important. It it solidifies like your knowledge and your approach on how you approach problem solving. Look at it this way. Participating in coding or skills challenge is a way of publicly displaying your problem solving skills or your approach to solving a problem. And that's something that employers or partners would really want to learn. So let me let me use like myself as an example. So using uh, Microsoft Azure, it's cloud computing here in the United States. It's the number two behind AWS. But there's a lot of people who are, have Azure fundamental certifications. But my participating in in passing and completing uh, two skills challenge means that I'm able to actively go into Microsoft Azure program and code it correctly, and that's the the number three thing I want to talk about about uh, coding is it's impartial, and I don't think people look at it from that viewpoint. There's a lot of people saying that they're good at coding, they're they can do this, they can do that, but what a coding or skills challenge does is it's impartial. It's not what I say. It's not what a certain employer says. It's just an individual vendor or company that's saying this person can pass or can code and do this. And that's something that's very important, especially when it comes to human resources. Uh, a lot of times, if you're applying for a company, uh, like applying for a job at a company and you're the outsider, there's internal candidates. And if you get picked over them, they have this belief system that there's favoritism. And, and so when you're passing these coding challenges, it's impartial and it's a way of avoiding getting sued. And a lot of people don't think like that. A lot of people believe, well, you know, I just code. I'm the best person for the job. But you have to look at the fact that oftentimes when you're coming from the inside, there's an internal candidate who... Um, is vying for the job and didn't get it. But it protects human resources also because it's like this person has passed and had a certain standard. The same thing with certifications. Certifications are impartial arbiters. As I mentioned, it's not you saying you're the best. It's not the company saying they're the best. It's um, it's somebody administering a test. You scored it and that's why you're where you're at. So that's number three I wanted to talk about. It's impartial it's a way of saying, okay, this is, you pass a certain litmus test, you showed a certain level of proficiency and skill. Number four is gaining notoriety and, and building your expertise. Building upon being impartial, you're starting to get known for your level of proficiency in coding or your type of cloud and computing skills. So that's what I mean by gaining notoriety. People start knowing who you are. You're the expert. You're the go-to person. And that's what completing these skills challenges and these coding challenges and the hackathons is all about. It's like, okay, this person scored this high on hacker rank. This person is doing this on Microsoft at night. Okay, I know that they're the go-to person because they're perennially doing that. And that's something that, you know, gaining notoriety and being the expert, that's part of your competitive advantage. And then number five is just test out whether or not you want to do it. You may be gung-ho because you came out of a boot camp and you liked it. But once you get out of the boot camp, once you do something that is... Um, 
just based on you and what you want to do, it will determine whether or not you really want to do IT or you want to do cloud computing or coding. And that's okay if you don't like it. It's great that the challenge of, or the hackathon exposed that you didn't like. So you can spend more time and collect the transferable skills that you did acquire in the boot camp or you did acquire um, taking a, a certain training and applying it to something that you do like. So those are the five reasons why you should do you know, a hackathon, a coding challenge, or a skills challenge. My name is Carla R. Jenkins. If you do need help in AWS, Azure, Oracle, cloud computing, like total cost of ownership, architecture, and cloud analytics, get in touch with me at carlarjenkins.com forward slash contact. Thank you.